Again, I don't mean to get too emotionally involved with this process, but you don't know, man. You don't know what it's like when <laughs> you're down and out and things are frustrating you. And then one little thing pops up and you get goose pimples just going, oh my gosh, there's a chance. There's a chance <laughs> that it could become something. Talking to the camera, dear. <laughs> I know. It's weird, too. You know what else is weird? I put two scoops of instant coffee in the water because I'm getting used to the Milo Mocha. And I should have just put one. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, we're enjoying, we're trying to enjoy a lovely sunrise morning of peace and Peace and broken handles. <laughs> We're calling this therapy this morning. Honey, your tea's getting cold. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Mine's extra strong if you need any more coffee flavor. No, 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 no. Ooh. Yeah, instant coffee is back. Viv, I appreciate the coffee from Canada. It was fantastic. Even Sonia. How was the coffee from Canada? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -mm. You didn't have any? No, I never gave you none. I never gave you none. Mm -hmm. I never said, hey, honey, would you like some coffee? No. It sounds like something I would say. Well, you never did. No, but I don't like you. I never gave me none. It's not my fault, Viv. We, 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 we've, we've, we've grown apart in the mornings. <laughs> uh, each with our really, responsibilities. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what's in the what's in the cup, dear? Milo. And milk. And water. And nuts. Oh, there was some love in there. I put it in there. I put some love in there this morning, dear. What? A spoon. Oh, hey, you know, love comes in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> That's right. And I threw the water in. I gave you the spoon and the water. And I even yeah. gave you the power to tell me when to stop putting water in the cup. This is, this is, we're getting deep here. The metaphors are rampant. Okay. Sounds good. There may not be forks in the road, but there's spoons in the cup. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. That's good. Okay. No. Speaking of hope, Maybe hope. I mean, we're being hopeful. The table is dirty, but speaking of hope, some uh, new developments have occurred and arisen, and the outlook on life and to this morning, the sun is shining. Check it out. I know. Every morning, we got rid of that awning, and thankfully, the breeze blows the other direction most of the time. But yeah, how do you how do you say no to that 
morning sunrise every day. And that morning sunrise right there. How you doing? Uh, but I wanted to show you guys first thing in the morning. There were, I know last episode, a little, little down, a little out. But there's something that occurred that just has reignited the spark of curiosity and hope. Remember what that was? And it comes in a baggie. <laughs> Not that kind of baggy deer. It's this right here. Remember this? What is it, dear? Your bone capacity. Yeah. Where I thought everything was done for and everything was lost. Checked it yesterday. And I'm going to keep my hope alive. So if this changed by the time I saw it yesterday, they're going to have issues. If we look, oh my god, look, you're saying there's a chance, there's going to be a chance, huh, what, I see it, good morning Dave, you want to see that the hope metaphor this morning, do you see it, do you see it? What do you see, sir? I know you just woke up. Huh? Yeah. What do I see? Where? Right there. You see that? Um, you know what that is? Honey, love the background. You're doing great. You don't see what's there. Yeah. You don't see what's coming out of that seed. What, Dave? Seriously? Right there. Oh, this. Uh, yes. What is it? Seed. What is it? Seed. Oh, I thought you said see it. Yes. That, that's a seed, but what's coming out of the seed? Root. It's not just a root. You know what that is, Dave? That's hope. <laughs> you guys don't like My analogy isn't working? What? Come on, man. That's hope. Plant the seed, albeit in paper towel, and it it, it it could do something. I'm excited. I'm excited. That's it. Do you think it's going to produce in the, in the paper towel? It will for the first few days while it germinates. After that, you know what we got to do today? Got to find you a new home. The one seed. Hey. Sometimes all it takes is one, <laughs> one seed. <laughs> oh, we're getting a little too... <laughs> I'm drinking my extra strong coffee. Hope is alive and well. I <laughs> hope you have your coffee too. And we'll see where today goes. <laughs> Classic red, green, and gold breakfast today. Some eggs, some leftover callaloo, and a can of mackerel. Apparently, the green can is better than the red can. So, low carb, high protein breakfast is served and tackle the day. Cool. gonna lie it's kind of nice you eat three eggs go out back open up the chicken coop junior yes you can one get three eggs down and come back out in the morning and find one two 
four more. Could get used to this eventually. Hello, good morning, hi. Sorry, forgot to give you your space. We're good? You guys need some more water, huh? Okay, I'll let you out in just a second. promise no monologues today but I'm gonna continue the metaphor rampage because it's getting it's kind of sad when you water the peppers and you see all the white flies scatter for fear of being drowned and you're like dang dude I know it's been a week since I put on the neem oil last but <laughs> if I can't maybe I'll drown you out eventually uh, at least we can water let's focus on Focusing on the positive today, at least we can use the super hose and reach all of the peppers and all of the plants and, and all the white flies. At least we can reach them and not having to carry buckets. So I'm going to water the plants and then bust out the neem oil, tackle them again, and keep coming back for more. But cool news is the cocoa's coming back. Yeah, first leaf springing up, man. So. There will be more cocoa in the future. So I'm gonna take some commenteers advice, picking up some dried uh, breadfruit leaves and gonna be protecting our baby over here because that's what they said to do. Wait, excuse. Sorry, Pepper. All right, yes. Our one pride and joy here, watermelon. Oh, I'll be fine. This hurts you more than it hurts me. Okay. Right. There we go. Ready to grow and prosper. Cool. Now, as much as I love vine ripened tomatoes, our pride and joy needs to get taken today because it's starting to turn. And I don't want the bugs to get it. So, I'm gonna let her ripen off the vine. Please and thank you. All right, our first real tomato. Cool. All right, dear, we did it. Ooh. Right? I figured I'd take it now before the bugs found it. Yep. Right It'll... Cool.
I'm racing. This is how fast I'm. Look, I'm winning. No, I'm yeah. doing great. Yeah, oh, we're, we're literally running to Highgate yeah. to yeah. get stuff for tonight because... Do we tell them? Do we tell them? Do we ruin it? I don't know. I haven't told them officially yet. Rumor has it we might not be here on Saturday. We we might be oh, going yeah, somewhere. And so because we might not be here on Saturday, we're going to have our little cooking session today on Thursday instead. Dave's going to help carry stuff, supposedly. And C is going to return some property from other people goodbye C. we'll see you soon see what i did there see see oh you know what c is it's spanish for yes <laughs> fun almost forgot to mention yeah the power's out jps is aware of the situation according to the app notification however yeah. They send me a, 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 a notification on the app that says, we're aware that you're currently not experiencing power and someone's going to work on it. How does it make you feel? <laughs> I'd feel better if I had power right now, but yeah. No Wi-Fi? Dave, how do you survive? Exactly. One walk to Highgate at a time. So hopefully Highgate has power, because that could be a problem. We'll find out. Um, hi. Is that hi? Hi. What's up? What are you doing? Yeah, you, do we have power right now? Yes. We have power? Yes. Where? There is no power here, sir. You must dump him. Ah, you got me. Yeah. Andre says hi, but we're still without power, and rumor has it it's going to be till 5 o'clock p.m. 5 o'clock p.m. That's horrible. Yes. Do you want to play on the iPad? Yes. Bye. It's going to be an interesting day with no power. We'll see how long when the iPads die. They're done. Whew. What are you doing? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Boom, 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 me. Oh, man. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're done. You're done. You're done. You done? Go get Nana. Go get Nana. Not me. Go get Nana. Go get Nana. Go get Nana. Go get Nana. You're done. You're done. You're done. Wait. Okay, I give up. All right. Kids are learning a valuable lesson right now. First lesson is sharing. Why are they learning sharing? Because even though we have plenty of iPads for everyone to get to enjoy, <laughs> some of us haven't been the most responsible about plugging them in. Lesson to everybody out there, keep your iPads charged because when the power goes down and you want to play a game that doesn't even require Wi-Fi, kind of hard to do that without um, battery in the iPad. So, they're learning a valuable lesson of sharing today. And it's when the iPad battery's dead, as long as it's before five o'clock, there won't be any iPad left. Then we'll have to play like a real game, like dominoes or looty or tag, who knows?
Andre, show him how to play it. Andre. Andre, show him how to play it. Andre. 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 Show him how to play it, man. Andre. Hello. You want one? You want one? One. 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 What do you say? What do you say? Okay. Want to give one for Nana? You want to give one? Give one for Nana. No, that's two. 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 Thank you. Thank you. You did one. What? You're not encouraging him, are you? What happened to one? How many biscuits did I get? How many biscuits did you give me? Mm. You give me any biscuits? Yeah. How many biscuits? Huh? You gave me biscuits? All right, you get one more. That's it. One, two. That's it. Huh? Are you gonna give one to Nana? Okay. Where's my one anyway? He has it right there. Huh? He has it. No, my my chips. What? My popcorn. We're supposed to go buy it. Okay. Well, we are eating. Okay, go give Nana her popcorn. Where's Nana's? Right more. You ate it? Okay, go give that one to Nana. Nana. Oh, really? Really? I think you're a bad influence on him, Swan. You're a bad influence on this guy. I'm not. I said one, dude. One. It has more. You got popcorn on your face. Two? You want more than two? What comes after two? Okay, ready? Let's count. One. Two. What's this one? What's this one? Uh, one, two. two. What comes next? Mm -hmm. I you have pop okay. That's we'll get to three tomorrow. That's, That's it. No more. Interesting afternoon. The boys all headed to Kingston to get some measurements done with the rest of their family uh, in preparation for their father's service. So, without any children around except for this, there you, go. you got a little little powder. <laughs> Other than those ones and the chickens and no electricity, we we are. Uh, Enjoying life. Oh, sunbathing it looks like. Hi, you guys bathing in the sun? Enjoying some uh, peace and quiet as well? Cool. Yesterday, true story, we actually had six eggs. And I'm trying to figure out whether or not maybe one was laying in the evening and then decided to 
we didn't get it till the morning. Well, we had four eggs this morning, and we had our friend hanging out earlier. Hey, I'm talking about you guys. Chill. Yeah, yeah, relax. So we should have one more egg here. And she do. Thank you very much. That's all I got to say about that. Well, so good news and bad news. So as we stated earlier, we're going to be heading out of town for a little while. And I've been nervous about now finding my hope of starting to pick back up how we're going to keep these things going and growing uh, while we're gone. And so I know in the previous episode, if you recall, many, many moons ago, we tried the bottle method and we used 20 ounce bottles and it, let's just say it didn't work too well. We had some success, but my goal is to, I got to keep these things alive for a week and still growing. So rather than the 20 ounce bottles, we're upgrading to the big two liter bottles and we're going to change up some things this time. Come along with and see uh, if this works this time around <laughs> and keep the the hope of the pepper seedlings alive. Here we go. All right, Mario, I think that's... Well, 55, 60 days. Okay, Mario. I think we need to just put the, put the screwdriver down, Mario. Back away slowly. All right, let's admire Mario's work. Mario, ladies and gentlemen, Mario. That's all I got. Okay, so... In theory, yes, this is going to... In theory. This is going to sit in here... Water's gonna be in here, soil's going up here, mm -hmm. and the soil will soak through the bottle all the way. You wanna oh. put a, you wanna put a hole in the cap too? Come <laughs> He's determined. To pull in the cork, yeah. We could Oh that, that actually went pretty easily. Okay, you're you're just you're okay, Mario. Mario. Walk away slowly. Um, thank you. Yes. <laughs> anyway, how do you do? Cool, plenty. So, again, we can fill this bottom thing full of water. Oh, wait, it's over here. Fill the bottom thing full of water. Fill this top part with soil. And the water will soak up through the soil like a little water reservoir. We'll put all the dirt up here. No, no more holes, Mario. Let it go. Put the pepper seeds up here to stay relatively, not dry, but not soaking obviously in the water. And then we should be able to walk away for a week or so and come back and we'll have beautiful peppers ready to go. Nice. Let's get some soil. That's sand, Mario. We don't, we don't need sand. Wouldn't be a horrible idea, but... To the dirt. To the dirt. Watch my beautiful plants that are still alive. Oh, look! Did you guys see the green beans? Yes! Aren't they green beans. Yeah, they're, they're alive. <laughs> Alright, Mario. Put, the, put, put her in. We're going to need to time lapse you, pal. Behold, Quina, what is it? Oh. It's dirt. Oh, that's heavier than I thought it was going to be. All right. We're gonna figure out what's next. 
Water. <laughs> Good coin out of water. Huh? All right, that's pure authentic rainwater. Very dramatic, Mario. Oh, oh, okay, wait. All right, turn off. Make it sort them. Let's see, yeah. That oh, work, you know? oh, it's working! It's working! What? Yeah. Okay, all right. Nice. Hello, Wasp. Hello, Wasi. That's the good day. Mario. Mario CB. Then Jerry. Look. Look what we did. We got dirt and water. And you're impressed, I know. Mario's telling us a story. Can you pull it off my shoe? The bottom? No, oh, the bottom of my shoe has a, like a... I don't know, I just stepped in it. Sorry. Literally just stepped in it. Alright. Now. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty good. And... A little humidity dome for the top once we figure out how to attach that and got ourselves a planter. Don't act like you're not impressed. I mean, push my glasses up for that one. Get the peppers. No, not there. There you are. Okay. Now I think we only have a couple of these sprouting, but we're going to. See what happens. We're going to put them in and hope for the best. Yeah. Check these earlier today. Woo! There it is. It's growing. You want to come check this out? It's just pretty pretty intense. May I? Well, we can put more in afterwards. I just realized the root of this thing actually goes, focus, or not, way back here. And I don't want to destroy it. So I think we're just going to take the, hello, grandkids. Yeah, I think we're just going to tear the paper towel and put it all in together. Very meticulous process here. So I probably need to put some overly dramatic music going on here, but this is a very, very delicate process. One wrong move, and we could all be over for this little thing. Oh I don't want to mess with the roots. I know! You know, just don't even know. <laughs> Why is this? <laughs> My hands are gonna start shaking. This is... <laughs> really, the whole time I could've just took the top piece? <laughs> I'm tearing the whole paper towel and it's just like... You know, it's only really attached to that one top piece. Cool, all right, we got it. Okay. Now, take this. We're gonna put it in, in the hole, roots down. Yep, thankfully it's a biodegradable paper.
All right, that's probably way too dramatic, but you don't know. You don't know what it's like having that life of a baby plant in your hands. But I think, I think this is gonna be home. It's gonna be home, check it out. There it is. Root down, soil's nice and moist. And we have a nice reservoir that we'll even put a little bit more water in. And I think we're even gonna put a humidity dome over the top for the time being. And when we come back from the thing that we're going to, this will be a beautiful pepper plant. Hopefully. I think it needs a slow-mo. Well, we put on the finishing touch, added the, the, the top to it to create a little bit of humidity catchment to keep the area or the top of the soil nice and wet. Left the cap off for now just to be able to let it breathe a little bit since it's already started the growing process. Bottom part's full of water, top part's nice and wet. And now we're gonna put it by the window so that it can catch some indirect sunlight. <sighs> Let me wave our magic wand, say a few pleasant words and hope we come back in a week to a plant. It's ready to go. It may sound a little superficial, but I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Not exactly your um, best office desk decor, but you could bedazzle it later. Either way, all I know is it started the process. This will give it some indirect sunlight to keep growing, and that should be enough water for a week to keep it... <sighs> Ready. I'm saying goodbye, plants. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I forgot to mention. So not only is this top meant for, you know, a little bit of moisture control, but it's also to keep any sort of bugs and, uh, dare I say, lizards at bay from eating my leaves that they happened to enjoy last time we did this method. There. Now I'm saying goodbye. As for the rest of the plants, Put a little bit more water on there, not too much to drown them. And we're gonna put them back. You know, maybe we have some some late bloomers <laughs> like everywhere else around here. You never know. They might still be holding out on us. So there they are. And we'll check on you guys in a while too. Maybe we'll join the party. Again, I don't mean to get too emotionally involved with this process, but you don't know, man. You don't know what it's like when <laughs> you're down and out and things are frustrating you and then one little thing pops up and you get goose pimples just going oh my gosh there's a chance there's a chance that it could become something whether it's a plant or human <laughs> there's hope for something <laughs>
come back here. Bye bye. Soon come back. Bye bye. Bye bye. Don't give me that face. We'll soon come back. Oy. And off we go. So I don't know if Marlins is going to be open because power is not back yet. But we need to get food for tonight and we need to get out of the house because <laughs> no electricity and children. <sighs> yeah. Bye, Mario. Anyway. Hopefully now you guys are going to be my accountability team. We need five pounds of chicken. Children, five pounds of chicken. One thing of all purpose. A juice for the baby, as my wife insists. Juice for us to survive. And there was something else. What do we need for the potato salad? Um, mayonnaise. Um, we got milk. mayonnaise. Oh, a can of veggies. Yeah, and milk. And a milk. And a milk! That's all! Cool, there we go. Alright, good news. We got the five pounds of chicken. The tin of veggies. Okay, they call it a tin here. Not a can of vegetables, but I don't think it's made out of tin anymore. I could be wrong. Aluminum? And some snacks and some drinks and just gotta make it back in one piece and we'll be alright. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. All right. Who do you? Why are you so dirty? No. <laughs> what happened? You got dirty, man. What'd you do? What'd you do? All right. Good talk. All right, you see that that time right there, that the sundial time, since we're going off of that for right now? As of right now, it is 4.04, .04, and the rumor of the electric is to go back on at 5 o'clock. Now, I'm always curious, like, does that mean, like, real 5 o'clock or island time 5 o'clock? It might be 5 o'clock. We'll see. We got a less than an hour, and the light might be back. Whew. So we're going to sit down and relax. So we don't have any electricity yet. But we do have a deck of cards, and so today I'm going to teach the children, hopefully, this is my announcer voice, yeah, I know, how to play the game of speed. Because when I told them, hey, let's play speed, they said this. What that mean? Really? <laughs> you don't know what that... Exactly. So, so we're going to play some speed, because they might be fast with their feet, but can they be fast with their hands? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. You just hit yourself? Did you really just hit yourself? Oh, Mario. He'll be fine. No children were hurt in the making of this video. Hopefully. Alright, we're gonna teach Mario the game of speed. Mario, have you ever played speed before? Mm -hmm. No. What is the definition of speed? No, that well, if you had to think about the word speed, what does that mean to you? So I'm going fast. 
So you, you like, associate speed with running and how fast no, you are. No, like how fast you are going to run this. Like how fast you can run this. Fast okay, so yeah, so take that idea of running, the speed this. that you didn't have the other day. That's another story for another time. But, yeah. So, here's how the game works. Okay, this is the most important part of the game. Are you ready? Mm. You have to choose a pile. A pile of One of these two. This could make or break your game. This could be the biggest decision of your life today. This. You sure? Mm. No, no, this, 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 this. Are you sure? <laughs> this is the one. Yeah. This isn't a magic trick. I promise there won't be like a, a bunny or a hat or anything. This is yours. Now you can't. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. You just pick it up. Count five cards. That was good. That was five. All right. Mario, five cards. No, no, no. That's five. Let me put the rest down. Okay. Now, these five cards you can look at. These are not good. Mario, take Clangy. Whenever you're ready. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not bend the card. Let's <laughs> so bend the card. Okay, now. So you, mm -hmm. you don't even know what the goal is. What are you complaining about? No. Okay, you have cards in your hand. Mm -hmm. And you can choose to organize these cards however you like, mm -hmm. right? Like lowest to highest, pairs, whatever. But the goal of this game, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Mario? You can either use the restroom, it's over there. Nice. Are you ready? The goal of this game is to get rid of your pile as quickly as possible. This is your pile. Yeah. That you, if this is gone before mine, you win. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No. You ready to start? Yeah. You don't have any questions? No. You ready to start? No. You ready? <laughs> ready, 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 ready. You ready to start? Yeah. You don't have any questions? No. You, as soon as you get rid of your pile, you're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't have any questions? <gasps> no questions at all. So wait, what's your question? Well, so what do we think first? Oh, great question, Zoe. So glad you asked. How do I get rid of my cards? Let's go, so. It can't even move fast. Right, so <laughs> we'll walk through this first round. Mario, you can only have five cards in your hand at one time. No more. You can have less, but you, you want to have five cards in your hand. Do you have five cards? Okay. This is the game table. These two cards right here. Oh, best are mine. No, 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 these are ours. We're sharing. Unlike your spice bun, this is going to be shared. So I'm going to share it to him. That would be... I'm going to get a cheese. I Mario cheese. cut the cheese earlier. It's... The Americans know what that means. They're laughing right now. He <laughs> fought. I tell them what cut the cheese means. Guys, we're never gonna get through this. The people at home are waiting for us to play. <laughs> you know where his hands have been? <laughs> Yo. Mario. Bro. I know, bro. I know, bro. Yeah, say it. Say it for the people at home. I know. So, are you ready to start? We'll go slow. This is a card. This is a card. Both are important. So on the count of three, we're gonna flip this card. Mm -hmm. That card. One. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have like a grip on the card? It's not yeah. fire. The card's gonna yeah, flip. Yeah, watch, flip. watch what happens. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, okay, you're so excited. Oh my gosh. And then now that you don't do you have any questions? No. <laughs> you know how to play. One. <laughs> Ready. Okay, so you have a couple options. You could do the exploratory approach where you watch me play and then you try to figure out what's going on. Or if you'd like, you could ask questions ahead of time and I will tell you the rules of the game as we go along. Mm -hmm. Which do you prefer? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great, ask a question. Uh, okay. So I'm going to 
No, we are not gonna match. So there, disclaimer, there's a few different ways to play speed. We're gonna play what I learned, the traditional way. You cannot use the same card on top of the same card. The only way that you can put down a card. Block, if, if, if block, flip one. The color of the card doesn't matter. So what then? It has to be a number above or below the number that is on the board. So, if I look at this four, what two numbers could I play? Five. A five or... Uh, eight. Uh, no, a six. Scaffolding teachers, you know. <laughs> what numbers are above and below four? Three. three and five. Okay, so the only two cards that you could play on this right now is a three or a five. Yeah. Do you have a three or a five? No. 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 Okay, so then disregard that card. Then we look over to this card. This is an ace. Now this is a special card because it's both high and low. <laughs> like me sometimes. So what is below the ace? This is the highest card and the lowest card. Oh, oh, oh. Does anybody know? That you? That's a queen, but there's a card between the queen and the ace. Um, Jack. Oh. King, king. King. So, below the ace is a king. <clears throat> what is on the other side of the ace? At the lowest of the low. Like, imagine the ace was one. What comes next? J. 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 Jesus does start with J, but no, that's not correct. Ace F. also. So, okay, here we go. So, ace is at the top, above the king. It's also at the bottom, below the two. So for an ace, you can play a king or a two. Do you have a king or a two? Marco! Do you have a king? Marco. Okay. I can't play. I don't have a king or two. I don't have a three or a five. So if we both can't play, we're kind of at a stalemate. Like, oh no, no, we can't play. That's what these piles are for. Ah. So on the count of three, we're going to flip the top card. Maria Moss. One. Two. Three. Three. <gasps> on top. Sorry, I should have given better directions. Yes, the, the card goes on top of the pre existing so, card. So, that is right. So, this is now our new playing field because we couldn't play in the last cards. We're now going to play on this card. Oh. So, I see a jack and I'm like, <gasps> why do you think I'm like, <gasps> We can't have it. Well, because maybe I have a card that I can play. What card is below the jack? Um, yeah. A jack's like an 11. So what's below it on the 11? T 10. A 10. So I go, oh my gosh, I have one of those. And I play a 10. Now I Nobody have 10. Okay. <laughs> so imagine you're like, oh my gosh. You ready? Get your slow motion. Ready? No, you're like, yeah, slow motion. And you're like, oh my god, I have a 10. And I put mine before yours. That means you have to take yours back. Because you were too slow. The game is called speed. Why do we think the game is called speed? Speed. Oh, fast, you have to move. Because you have to move quickly. Yes. So, there's a 10. Now, I also see, oh, I have a 9. Now, do you have a 10 or an 8? Well, see, Mario, we're not playing the same card. You have to play a card that's above or below the card that's on the table. So you could play the 10, and then you could come back and play the 9, because that's below the 10. Okay, now I can't play anymore, right? I don't have a 10 or an 8. I don't have an ace or a 3, but I only have three cards in my hand. How many cards do you want to... How many cards do you want to have in your hand at all times? Five. Five. So as soon as I put down a card, I can pick up a card from my pile. And this is how the pile, pile excuse me, begins to get lower. So put down five. Pick up you want to make five sure cards. you have five cards in your so hand. So much card I have? I have five now. Mars, no Mars. And now I'm going to play the ace, because it's Yo. below the two. I played one card, I can pick up one card. And now I'm going to play the eight, because it's... Hey, oi! Get your hands off the card, little man. 
Little man. And again, I'm going to keep playing. Oh, good. You played a seven. That means I can play a six. And I pick up another card. Oh, I almost played. You can play the seven. I can play the oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. Uh -huh. card. Now I see a seven Tickle. and a six. And I pick up more cards. Ooh, a five. I love a five. I can play a four, a three, and a four. And I keep picking up cards because I can have five cards in my hand at all times. Like a five. And a king, and a queen, and a king. And now I don't have any cards, so I gotta keep going. I gotta pick up more cards. Jesus. But I can only have five cards in my hand at a time. And there's an ace, and there's a two. And you'll quickly notice my pile's gone almost. And I only have the cards in my hand left. Take up card, Mario! Jeez, um, take up me a card! No, you can only have five cards in your hand. Do you have How much card do you have in your hand? No more than five cards. Yeah. Okay, can them. you play on either one of these? Take up card. Very take good. up one card. Gee, take up two card. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, me two Take man. up one next card. No, no, no. Take up six. Quest first sense. That's my line, dude. That's what? Yeah. My, but Ooh, you I must think I can play your... that one. Mario, wow. every time you play take one card, one. take up one. I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat. Do you have an ace or a three? Okay, so what happens when we're stuck? Do you have five cards? No. Okay, so if we both can't play, we make eye contact and say one, two, one, one, two, three. And then we go to town and say, ooh, a nine, ooh, an eight, one card. It's like Uno for fun. You don't have to say it, but I like to. Just to give them a little bit of a nervous wreck. I've only got one card left! No, I have to finish my card. I have to empty out all my cards. <gasps> take up one card! Mario, take up one card! Play a take up, play a take up, play a take up. So it's kind of gone if you're long time. The suspense is killing me. You know oh my gosh, okay, no, you get five cards. Hello, you only get five cards. Do you have five cards? No. So do you have a six or an eight? Six or eight. So may I, do you have, have a six or an eight? So may I play one duck or something? Else? Do you no. have a six or an eight? No. Do you have an eight or a ten? No, so we're both stuck. So we can play five or so. No, it has to be one above or one below. Can you play? Mm. Can I play? Mm -hmm. So what do we do? On three. One, One, two, three. Oh my gosh! Speed! <laughs> and that's, no. that's how you win no. the game. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. Next! And oh just as God. the game is no. over, the light Ooh. is back in the yard. Oh, yes, yeah. there it is. The light is back. Mario, plug in the iPads! Woo! The iPads, quick! Yeah.